Hey, what's going on? Aaron Chen here. Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be doing some research on this website right here called Fiverr, okay? Fiverr.com. And you might be like, Aaron, you know, is this a good website for me to start generating some income? Uh, maybe you might be watching this video during the whole COVID pandemic, or maybe it's after, you know, it's post COVID. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but you're like, I know that earning income online is probably the next, you know, phase of your life. It's something that you definitely want to do because, you know, the with being stuck at home, it's become even more important to leverage the power of technology, right? So maybe you're checking Fiverr out and you're like, maybe I want to be a freelancer and, and maybe I want to jump on Fiverr and, you know, start selling my services so I can maybe work from home, generate some income on the side. It's going to supplement my income or maybe it can even become a full-time income. So let's talk a little bit about Fiverr and whether it is a good place to actually start selling your freelance services, okay? Now, I am a huge user of Fiverr, as in I like to buy a lot of my services on Fiverr. So I've been marketing online now for the last 11 years, and I have spent a ton of money on Fiverr. I mean, you can see my orders right here, just to kind of prove this to you, right? I'm gonna go into my orders, and you're just gonna see how many orders I've had. Look, I've, I've actually done over a thousand orders, 1,116 orders since I started on Fiverr, right? Um, actually buying people's stuff, right? Buying people's services. So I've spent a ton of money and not everything is $5, you know? Some, th some things are $10, some things are $50, some things are $100. I've paid, you know, over $200 for services on Fiverr. So not everything is $5. It started off like that, but you know, it's evolved and you can start to charge a lot more than just $5, okay? So you can see I get all my, um, you know, e-covers and product covers all, uh, you know, all, all on Fiverr. I get all my banner ads done here. I did my podcast introduction here i get all my subtitles done here um i do you know a lot of my thumbnails are, are done using fiverr and i just it, you know I, i've been able to find a lot of great people to do a lot of my uh you know internet uh, marketing assets uh, here on Fiverr, right? And you can see like, I've, I've spent a whole bunch of money here, you know, $52, $12, $12, $7, $22, $27, just a, a ton of stuff, okay? Um, and so on Fiverr, you can literally um, you know, offer your services in a lot of different areas. Okay. So you can do graphic design, you can do digital marketing, right? And even within each of these, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Look at this, even graphic design alone, you can do stuff for visual design, packaging design, um, architecture and building design, print design, flyer design, all that great stuff, right? Digital marketing, SEO, uh, public relations, video marketing, email marketing, um, book, ebooks, you know, e-commerce marketing. There's so much stuff, writing and translation, uh, translation for blogs, translation for websites, um, a whole bunch of different stuff, proofreading, ebook reading, career writing, so much stuff, video and animation, music and audio programming and tech business lifestyle, in different industries, right? Look at this, fitness lessons, relationship coaching, online lessons, I mean, cooking lessons, they literally have everything on Fiverr. It's just, it's, it's an incredible website, right? So if you are thinking of, you know, um, you know, uh, using Fiverr as a sort of a marketplace to sell your services, to try and add more income on the side, then it's a great place to start, okay? Now, here's what I would say about Fiverr that um, is kind of a, a, a limit, right? So it's a great website. They've been around for a long time. There are a lot of people that actually buy services on Fiverr, including myself. You can see I've, I've spent a ton of money on Fiverr uh, and I've, I've got, I've, I've used over 1,116 jobs, right? Uh, in the, in the, you know, since Fiverr, uh, Fiverr opened its doors. But the thing is, is that just because you decide to you know, jump into video animation or music or programming or business or digital marketing or whatever, and you want to provide, for example, uh, your podcasting services, or you want to, you know, um, uh, do some local SEO for, for people who are on Fiverr, right, or want to use Fiverr, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is going to see your particular job, okay? So just like every freelancing platform, they have a way to market their, their services. So for example, look at this, okay? Um, if I scroll down here, um, so for example, if I type out something like, um, okay, video marketing, okay? So let's say, say you're a video marketer and you want to sell your video marketing services on Fiverr. Well, if I type out something like video marketing, there's gonna be a bunch of video marketing services here. Now look at this, there's 1,777 services that I can choose from as a potential customer, all right? So it's kind of like Google, you have to rank for your jobs, right? Look, and, and people even spend money. Look, there's an ad here. People are actually spending money to push up their jobs, right? So it is a marketplace. And if you don't understand how to rank your jobs in a, in a good way, then you're not going to get that many jobs. And that is the big problem with Fiverr. But not only Fiverr, but 
you know, some of the other job web websites as well, because it's based on the, your popularity and, and how good you are, right? If you're just getting started today, um, it doesn't mean that you're going to start making a lot of money on Fiverr. I hope that makes sense, right? And you can see here, even these jobs, uh, they're, they're not $5. They're $20, $35, $70, $45, $55, stuff like that, right? $25, $60. So again, I might only scroll down you know, to like three or four levels and I might, I might already find somebody and then I'll just click on them and I'll, I will work with them, right? So if you're inexperienced and you're just getting started, it is quite challenging to get your job ranked high enough for people to find your job straight away. That's the big problem with Fiverr is that they have a lot of um, freelancers on the website. They literally have thousands of freelancers on the website globally offering a whole host of different services for people like me that want to buy those services, if that makes sense, right? So yes, it's a, it's a good place to start, but you're gonna have to learn how to maximize their platform because if you're just getting started today, it's gonna be difficult for you to get your job you know, ranked on the first page so that people like me can actually find it and use your services. I hope that makes sense, okay? So that's the only challenging part about Fiverr. And then the other thing that I would say is, you know, you need to consider whether you really want to be a freelancer or not. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some people that if they do this right, they can make quite a lot of money freelancing, okay? So for example, like um, some of these guys here, they, they literally have two or three or four or five or six or 10 jobs coming in every single day. Now, if you have 10 jobs coming in every single day, then that's a pretty good business, right? But if you think about it, you're still limited by the amount of jobs that you can pick up. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, Aaron, you know, I, I want to try and earn some money online and I want to kind of work on the internet, which is great. You know, that's a step forward from working a full-time job because you get to work from home and you you know you have the flexibility of of managing your own time and all that good stuff but you still have to remember that freelancing online is still a job okay a job is a job is a job right so you're still working for clients like me or somebody else or ha halfway across the world where you have to deliver your services to them in a specific period of time right so Yes, you are working from home and you are going to be able to generate some income on the side, even though you need to learn to leverage that platform properly in order for people to see your jobs. However, you're still capped at the amount of money that you can make because let's just say you are doing a uh, video animation work, right? And you're, you're pretty popular. Okay. So let's just say you're getting five or 10 video animation jobs a day, which is really high by the way. All right. Think about how much time you have to work on those jobs to deliver it to your clients on Fiverr. So you're still going to be working, you know, five, eight, 10, 12 hours a day doing video design, doing transcribing, doing podcast introductions, doing graphic design and all that stuff because you have to deliver those jobs to your clients on Fiverr. Does that make sense? So because you're only one person and there's, there's only so many hours in one day, you're going to be still working all day and your your income is going to be capped because you can't multiply yourself by five times or 10 times. You know, the only way you can do that is if you hire a team. And even then it's very difficult to scale your income. So there is an invisible, uh, there's an invisible roof, okay? There's an invisible ceiling that you're not going to be able to break through. Now, can you make some extra money? Yes, you can, all right, for sure. And can you work from home? Yes, you can, right? If you learn to leverage it properly, but are you going to be able to make, you know, $10,000 a month from freelancing on Fiverr? Very unlikely, okay? Because there's only one of you and you're not gonna be able to charge people that much money in order to generate that kind of income. I mean, we can do the math right now. I've got my calculator here, right? Think about this. Let's just say that you, you, you're doing logo design, all right? Now, you're not gonna be able to charge people $100 or $200 per logo. That takes a long time. There are people that charge that much, but you're not going to start off doing that from the beginning. Okay. On average, you can only charge maybe five, 10, 20, $30 for a logo, especially if you're first getting started. Right? So imagine if you charge someone uh, $20, that's on the higher end as well. I only pay $5 uh, at $10 for my logos, but let's just say you charge $20 for your logos and you were getting five jobs a day. Right. Um, and that's really high, by the way, it's very unlikely that you're going to get that much. Okay. So $20 times five, that's a hundred dollars times, let's just say uh, 20 days, right? Monday to Friday, you don't work on the weekends. That's $2,000 a month, okay? That's not that much money, think about that, right? And you have to give a little bit of that money away to Fiverr, you're not gonna get to keep all of that, right? So there's a there's a percentage cutoff that you have to give away to Fiverr, so you're, you're earning even less than $2,000. Again, this is just an example, but that's the average 
cost of, of what people are earning on Fiverr, okay? So you're not going to become rich. You know, it's, it's not the kind of platform that's going to allow you to do that. Yes, you can make some money. Yes, it's going to help to pay the bills. Yes, it can potentially become, you know, quite a nice business. However, you're going to be have, you're going to have to be grinding every single day for hours and hours and hours, just like you would in a full-time job offline. Okay. A traditional offline job. So the question is, 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 is Fiverr a good website? Yes, it's a great website. It's a great freelancing website. I've spent a lot of money on Fiverr. Um, and you know, can you become a freelancer and start making some money on Fiverr? Yes, you can. Right. But will it make you rich? Is it going to make you, um, you know, hit your, your big income goals? Um, and, you know, allow you to retire early and stuff like that? Absolutely not. You know, it's not designed for that. It'll help you earn a little bit of money and it'll get your freelancing career online going. Um, but is it going to make you like five to $10,000 a month? No way. It's not, right? It's not designed to do that, okay? So you just have to be very wary and you just have to, you know, come into this game eyes open, especially if you've never done freelancing before. I think freelancing isn't the best business model be only because it's kind of like having a job but you're working from home for other people, right? That's all it is, okay? You're never gonna be free because if you don't do the work and you don't deliver the projects to your clients, you're not gonna make the money. And because you can't replicate yourself, you are capped by a certain amount of hours in a day um, and if you're not working, you're not getting paid, just like a regular job, okay? So for me, it's okay, right? If, if you wanna get started and you wanna like, you know, dip your toes in it. But but the, the way that I decided to grow my business um, and influence and income online is through something called affiliate marketing, okay? So freelancing is something that I never did. I only buy freelancing services, if that makes sense. But what I do is I sell digital products online because when you learn to grow a business and you sell products instead of services where you have to create that service and do it yourself, you can create something called leverage, okay? Because of software, because of technology, because of videos, because of ads, right? You are able to, um, if you can figure out how to turn $1 into $3, you can scale that tremendously and you don't have to hire staff or anything like that. And you don't even have to work 12 hours a day if you learn to do this right, okay? So I've created a six-figure business online I've got hundreds of students all over the world where I teach them how to sell digital products, okay? So you might be here because you're like, Aaron, I want to try and find a way to make money online, but maybe you're not 100% dead set on becoming a freelancer. Now, if you are dead set on becoming a freelancer, then Fiverr is a cool website to check out. Another one to check out is upwork.com, okay? This was, this used to be called Elance. It's now called Upwork. They've been around for many, many years. This is another very good freelancing website. But maybe you're like, Aaron, I'm, I'm not super interested in freelancing. I'm just here because I'm trying to find a way to make money online. I wanna make some money on the side and I wanna leverage the internet, right? Well, maybe you might be interested in starting an online business, right? Because that's the, that's the best way to leverage your time, to scale tremendously, and also hit some very big income goals if that's your goal, all right? And that was my goal in 2009. Now, it took me a long time to figure it out, but when I got the right information and I started doing this right, I tripled my old corporate income in April 2019. I quit my corporate job um, and I haven't been back since, right? And I've, I've got now hundreds of students all over the world where I teach them this skill of affiliate marketing, selling digital products to people all over the world that have a problem that they're trying to solve. And when you learn to do that properly, you can generate some incredible income. However, you need to learn to do it the right way, okay? So if you wanna become a freelancer, then Fiverr is a cool place to start. Just understand that you're not gonna become rich overnight. Um, in fact, you'll never become rich because it's not designed to do that. It's just designed to help you generate you know, a little bit of income on the side. Um, you know, obviously some of these guys that are doing really well, they're earning a little bit more, but it's very difficult to become a top freelancer, if that makes sense. And you still have to trade time for money right? Because you still have to finish those projects. But if you're like, Aaron, I just want to learn how to make money online and I want to hit some big income goals, teach me how to do that. Then maybe you might be interested in affiliate marketing. Okay. So I've got a free training workshop that's going to show you exactly what I do and how you can do it yourself. All you need to do is click the link right below this video. It's in the description box. Okay. Once you, once you land on my website, enter your best email address, and I'm going to send that training directly to your email inbox. And it might also end up in your spam folder. So please check your spam folder because email these days just sometimes ends up in spam and watch that video because it's super detailed and I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step how I teach my students how to build a very powerful affiliate marketing business from home, if that's something that you wanna do, okay? Um, and it's definitely a step forward than just freelancing online because 
you know, I make sales every single day without necessarily having to be there, but you have to learn to do this right and build the right foundation if that makes sense, okay? So my name is Aaron Chen. I hope you enjoyed this review of Fiverr. All the best, and I hope to see you on the next page. Take care.